Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're gonna be boiling up and picking some big old crabs. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! What I've got here, guys, I've got a big pot full of very salted water. All we've got is it on the ring burner. And this is how we're gonna boil them up. Ready for eating, baby. Nice. Always like to dispatch a crab before I cook it. What you gotta do is just lift up the apron and underneath the body here, go straight in. There we go. Give it a little wiggle about. And that is the crab completely dispatched now. Perfect, ready for the cook pot. No more movement and it's a lot more humane. So I'm gonna get the rest done now. Get them ready for the pot, baby. What you're looking for is your water being on a very rolling boil. And that is perfect for boiling these up. The ring burner outside just saves the smell because they can smell a bit when they're indoors. Stink the house out, so best to do it outdoors if you've got a little camping stove. Got our water to a nice rolling boil now, guys. As you can see. And what you do, get your crabs and just plop them in. As easy as that. Either way, up or down, it doesn't really make a huge difference. As long as they're in there and submerged nicely, it's all good. There you go. Crabs are in the pot. What we do from this point onwards, you give them a good 15 minutes boil, and that will make sure they're all cooked straight through, and we're good to go. Just got my little station set up and all I've got here is a big dish and a spoon that you can uh, take the crabs out of the boiling water and let them rest to cool down and uh, a nice bowl for my meat and all I use to pick the crab is a chopstick and just a standard dinner knife. Woo, smelling good. There you go, guys. That's the crabs all boiled up now. Look at that lovely job. Wait for the steam to go down a little bit. And there you go. Check that crab out. That looks absolutely amazing. What I'm going to do is just get the others out now. We'll let these cool down and we'll start picking it. There we go guys, nice crab there, still a bit warm. I'm gonna proceed to uh, take it apart. And all you wanna do at the start is start taking the limbs off. You've got the legs, if you bend them backwards, sometimes you can get the knuckles out, just like that, see? Just makes life a little bit easier. Same with the claws. There we go, see the delicious meat hanging off that. Just because I'm going to be putting the meat in the shell, if you just get the back of your knife and give it a couple of cracks on the side, that will release up all of the meat part, just like so. I'll show you how to clean that up in a sec. But right here, you've got all of the brown meat and a lot of people love to eat this. I'm not the biggest fan. So what you do is the mouth here, push it in, and you can start taking all of this out. what I'm looking for is this this is probably my dad's favorite part it's the inside shell this is when they molt so what I'm gonna do is put all the brown meat in the bowl for now and then we'll prep the shell just for our clean white meat look at that nice full crab and all of this is your brown meat a lot of people love to eat this but like I say I'm not the biggest fan but it's, it's each to your own 
whatever your opinion is on it. Always worth a try though, because it is very sweet. What I'm going to do now is just clean up the shell. And that there is ready for all of the meat that I take out the body and the claws. Got the claws here, guys. Lovely big claws. And what you've got is three segments. You can break the first one off just like that. What you can do is get your chopstick. This is why the chopstick is so much more, oh sorry, so much more handy. Because you can get it in there and just scrape it out without breaking any shell. There you go. Not forgetting the meat that you pull off when you pull the knuckle out. Beautiful. As you can see, that is completely empty now. Onto the next part, there's a little uh, a little bulge on the side of the claw there. Because it is really hard to break this middle section off. So what you do, get the back of your knife. Give it a little crack. Beautiful. And there you go. So you've broken that little nobule off and then all of that will come straight out and once again get the chopstick in it there's a lot of meat in these delicious always find it very hard not to eat the crab when i'm doing stuff like this and i've got a bucket underneath me that i'm just I'm throwing all the discarded shell in and for your big claw all you need to do is get the back of your knife again one swift whack just like so, one the other side, and that will start releasing up the meat, just like that. What you can do is break off this, the other part of the shell here, and this will just wiggle out, just like that. And what you need to do is just break the meat off, put it into your shell or bowl or whatever you're using to uh, keep your meat, and there you go, you've got the feather inside, you want to get that out. You can see, we're starting to get a fair old bit of meat in there now. And for the legs, you've got the bigger segments here. You can just pull them apart. And I, I like to use just a pair of pliers, because you can control how hard you're pushing on it. So you don't want to just splatter the whole crab. There you go. Then you just start working it out get your chopstick in there and that's it beautiful it's one of the bigger ones and sometimes you can get it out like a big crab stick so yeah lovely little nuggets of meat that is This one came out perfect see what you don't want to do is uh use these too hard just slow pressure and you'll feel it crack and then that's enough and go once again with the claw take the bottom joint off you can get good old chopstick in there and pull out all of that delicious meat That knuckle make sure you take your meat away from anywhere that you're cracking as well it's a very good point there we go get that off make sure there's no bits there we go pop it off like so get all of that look at that chunk there oh can't tell you how much i want to eat that right now <laughs> got our big claw one swift whack and one on the other side, job done. This one came out perfect, this one. Beautiful. Okay, lovely chunk of meat. I always like to feel around my fingers, make sure there's no shell on it. The idea of picking crab is you want as little shell as possible. That's the legs done now, you can see. We're starting to build up a really big amount of meat in this one crab. So that's why it's always worth getting the uh, the heaviest crab you can. 
And what you got here is the dead man's fingers on the side. These are essentially the gills of the crab. You want to discard these. We go. Any bits on the side, just get them off. Got the mouth in the front here. You pull that down, that will just fall off. And the same again on this part. All the way around. And you got your gills there. Pull those off. Lovely job. On the back here, you've got its reproductive organs. If you just get the back end of it here, and you can pull down, and that will pull it straight off. Beautiful. And all you're left with now is the segments of meat and the brown meat in the middle. And what you can do is just put that into your bowl if you wanted to keep it. There we go. What I'm going to do now is just cut down, get your bread knife, cut straight down. So like that, and you can crack it open. And there's your meat. Got plenty of meat of these in these things. Just going to take the rest of these knuckles out. Beautiful. What I like to do is where you've got all of the knuckle holes there, if you just cut straight down them, and you can open the crab up. And there you go. You've got all of the meat there, easily accessed. And that, and just get the chopstick and just start scraping it in slowly. And you can see, it all comes out in each segment. Here's a little bit time consuming. But if you just want to sit there and pick a crab, this is the ideal way to do it. And there you go. You can see, not a lot of meat left in that whatsoever. Same with every side. You just go along with your chopstick and you can just work the uh, work the meat out of the crab. And if you get a bit of stuck on one part, you can break it off and then start pulling it out once again. You can see the meat inside the body is very white. And I just dropped half of it. <laughs> it's very white compared to the claws. It's very, very sweet as well. Good thing about a chopstick, it's just wide enough to get through all the little holes. Makes your life a lot easier than trying to dig it out with a knife. Ooh, don't want to mess that meat. And these aren't particularly huge crabs either. They're a decent size, but they're definitely not monsters. Look at that, we filled the shell up already. We've got a little bit of body to go. And we are laughing. So there you have it. That's all the white meat of the crab, and that's all the brown meat. As you can see, absolutely delicious and you get a lot of meat out of this what uh, me and my dad used to do is put a bit of a uh, pepper salt and then sprinkle some vinegar on it and put it in a sandwich that is absolutely amazing with brown crab but you can see the sort of yield you get out of them and that is absolutely delicious So that's all for today's episode guys. I wanted to do a little tutorial on how to cook and prepare a brown crab. We got some good yield out of these. So big shout out to Inglorious for uh, for giving us these crabs when we went out. And we're gonna make some delicious crab cakes with these and fish cakes as well. So stay tuned for the next episode. If you want some merch, the link's in the description. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!